Hello, Fix It Phil. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful countertop today. You can go right over your existing countertop with ceramic tile or marble tile and have a beautiful kitchen. And this can save you a lot of money. I did this job for less than $300 in material. But first, you'll have to make a trip to your home center. You will need a sponge. You will need a tile adhesive and make sure the tile adhesive matches the kind of tile that you pick out, whether it's marble or porcelain tile. You will need a trowel to spread out the mastic. You will need eye protection so you don't get any slivers in your eye when you're cutting the tile. You're going to need tile spacers. I know everyone thinks they can do it without tile spacers, but believe me, you want to get tile spacers. You're going to need screw for the cement board. And you're also going to need cement board to put on top of your existing countertop because you're going to go right over it. And you also need to pick out your beautiful tile. Whether it's marble, porcelain tile, it's your choice. You're going to need a drill to screw down the cement board. And once again, you're going to need the special screws for the cement board. If you don't use these screws, regular screws will rot out and your cement board will come up and you will have a mess. I used a cheap tile saw I bought refurbished for $70, as you can see. You can put marble on and make it look like a beautiful marble countertop, or you can pick a porcelain tile like this and put a porcelain tile on. In our job, we used a beige porcelain tile. This is the kitchen, what it looked like before we started. It had contact paper on the counters. We cut down the counter in the center to make room for the stove so we could open the door to the stove. As you can see, now we can open the, the stove and walk around the stove when the stove is open. This is what your countertops will look like as you start to finish a job. Aren't they beautiful? It sure beats those old dingy countertops that we had. First, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to screw down the cement board. After you screw down your cement board, you're going to have to lay out your tiles. This is what your cement board looks like. It comes in sheets. And once again, you screw it down with these special screws. These are the screws, and they're worth buying. Don't try to skip on these. Here's the tile. I, I laid them out dry so I could see how the tiles would, would lay out and where they would fall. After I did that, I put the cement board on and then I put the mastic on. As you can see, there's the mastic. I'm setting the tiles. If you notice, one tile is set slightly over the edge. As I laid them out, I could fix my inside corner and I could see where it would lay out. Once again, another shot where the tiles and the spaces are installed. Now, underneath here, you'll see a board screwed up underneath the counter to help hold the edge tiles on. Once again, you can see it in this picture. The edge tiles are important, and they're the last tiles that you put on. You want to put on the field tiles first before you put the edge tiles on. Once again, you can see we used a piece of raw wood for the edge. We screwed that on, and we laid the tiles slightly over the edge so we can see where they would fall. Here's a picture of the job when it's done with the range installed. It sure looks a lot better and gives us a lot more room in the kitchen. Here's the range fully on and fully working. Once again another shot of the job completed. And here's the finished product with the backsplash on, the edge tiles on, completely finished. Another shot of the range and here's a shot of the sink with the edge tiles. Sure looks a lot better than the dingy tiles looked like before. And a corner shot just before we installed the sink. Thanks for watching and if this has been helpful please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching Fix It Phil. Have a good day.